Hello, I'm Kylie Pentelow. Here are the main stories in London. Three people have been taken to hospital after a suspected gas explosion in West London. It blew out the front of a top floor flat on Western Road in Southall just before 1.30 yesterday afternoon. The condition of the three people is not yet known. Other homes and shops in the area have been evacuated as a precaution. Nurses in the capital have joined the rest of the country today by taking part in fresh strike action. The walkout is affecting half of England's NHS trusts and will last until midnight tonight. Our reporter Anil Adami has been speaking to those on the front line. What do we want? Get me! What do we want? Now! Chance calling for better pay, conditions and staffing. Nurses who care for the future of patients say they're on the picket line for the future of the NHS. There's just not enough nurses. This is about fair pay and about attracting people to nursing and to keep them in the job. I'm not here for the money, but I can understand that um, junior nurses can't live on the wages they're getting in big cities. Avi was a patient here at University College Hospital for most of last year. The nurses just made such a big difference. They saved my life. They turned what was a horrible situation into something so positive. While most passers-by supported those striking today, some didn't. And there have been concerns over patient safety. NHS England agreed some exemptions with the RCN union, whose leader says patient safety is at risk every day due to staff shortages and the pay offer on the table isn't enough. It's been very clear. Our members are saying that the pay offer that was put on the table by the Secretary of State will not address the recruitment and retention issues we've got within our profession. Uh, it needs to get round the table fairly quickly again and get this sorted out before we are pushed to reballot our members mid-May. Uh, and that could see us taking industrial action right up to Christmas. So you do stand by saying that these strikes could continue until Christmas? I do, yes. The Health Secretary called the 28-hour nursing strike premature and disrespectful to other unions who are meeting tomorrow to discuss the government's offer of a 5% rise and one-off payment. While the strike will end in a few hours, talks are clearly yet to make headway. Every sheet come out, cup of tea, and a chat with Pat, and a chat with... Anila Dami, ITV News. One of London's biggest and most well-known nightclubs is closing its doors after holding a final show this evening. Printworks originally opened in Rotherhithe in 2017 and has hosted some of music's biggest names. Despite being recognised as one of the best clubs in the world, it's now set to become an office block. A road worker from London has gone viral for this. How do we rewrite the stars? Say you were made to be mine. Jonathan Porter racked up tens of thousands of views online after he was filmed singing while on duty. And despite gaining those uh, masses of praise online, the 21 year old says he's never really considered a career in music. It's kind of shocking, very, very shocking. More mind blowing than anything else because I mean, I'm just, I'm just minding my own business. <laughs> You're just doing your thing. Yeah, I'm just enjoying myself because, I mean, I know the job takes quite a few hours, so, I mean, I have to entertain myself while I'm out here. It's, it's, it's weird to me because I'm just like, I don't think I'm as, as good as people are saying. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now it's time to take a look at all the sport. Zero accounting software. Sponsors ITV Regional Sports Report. Chelsea are gearing up to face Arsenal tomorrow. The Blues manager Frank Lampard has been reflecting on the club's recent performances. Chelsea are on an eight-match run without a win in all competitions and head into tomorrow's game against Arsenal significantly low on confidence. What we can do is what can consider the moment now and the future as a club um, and work very hard to get the squad where we want it and also to get the, the players performing so that that confidence word is not like a big word I'm using in my press conference every week because at a club like this you should work hard and the level of player it shouldn't be talking about team confidence but it's clearly an issue at the minute that needs to be addressed. 
Well, meanwhile, Arsenal's women's team are 1-0 up in their match against Wolfsburg in the Champions League semi-final. The Gunners are going up against German side with dreams of a second European title. Now, well, 60,000 tickets have been sold, which beats the existing attendance record by over 10,000. OK, now it's time to take a look at the weather forecast. Here's James with all the details. ITV London Weekday Weather is sponsored by Octopus Electric Vehicles. Car, charger and energy. Hello there, good evening. The next few days set to be, well, a week of two halves, a short working week once we get a shot of today's showers. A couple of days of decent dry weather before things turn a little more unsettled later on in the week. High pressure, generally settled, not always sunny, starting to give way as we head into Thursday. Band of rain moving across us and then lots of showers for Friday. Some of those set to be rather heavy, indeed thundery. Back to this evening, one or two showers still to drift through, a mixture of cloud and clear spells. Um, in spite of the uh, clear spells, set to be not too chilly a night, I think we'll be seeing lows of around 8 or 9 degrees. Tomorrow then, a mixture of cloud and bright spells. Any sunny spells will help to warm up the ground and that will give us some fair weather cloud later on in the day. So that sort of kills off a lot of the sunshine. For a little while, we'll be on an easterly, so the best of the temperatures further west with highs of around 16 Celsius. So slightly down on today and feeling a bit cooler uh, near the Thames estuary. As to what happens next, starting to get uh, hopefully a bit more sunny, but any sunshine on Wednesday set to be rather hazy, some high clouds across our neck of the UK. As we go into Thursday, dry start of the day, starting to get a touch milder with highs of 17 Celsius, but then this rain band spoils things through the latter part of the afternoon. And once we get into Friday, whilst temperatures will be much the same with highs of 17, pretty average for the time of year, like I say, lots of showers around and any sunny spells making them heavy and potentially thundery. So a bit of a mixed bag week ahead and next Saturday set to be unsettled too. ITV London weekday weather is sponsored by Octopus Electric Vehicles. And that's all from us for now. We're back tomorrow during Good Morning Britain. And then bye-bye.